If you're ready to plan your next vacation, but you're not quite sure where to go, head up to Boston this weekend for the Boston Globe Travel Show. And while you're there, you might get a chance to meet a few animals from SeaWorld. Joining us this morning to give us a look at those animals is Brandon Davis, Assistant Supervisor at SeaWorld Orlando. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. It is amazing some yes. of the animals you have brought us this morning. Yes, we brought a few of our animal ambassadors. We're going to have a whole lot of animal ambassadors there at the Boston Globe Travel Show. We're going to be there all weekend today, tomorrow, and Sunday, so make, make sure you stop by. With us uh, right now, we have Thunder. Thunder is a 12-year-old American bald eagle. It was a rescue bird. A lot of people associate SeaWorld, obviously, with our marine mammals. Right, we yeah. have a great marine mammal rescue program, dolphins and manatees and all types of animals. Um, but we also rescue birds. Okay. And one of our newest exhibits this, this year is uh, Turtle Trek. Turtle Trek is a, a great experience. People come in, they get to experience what it's like to be a sea turtle mm -hmm. and all the challenges that go on. And we hope that it really inspires people to go out, protect the environment, protect sea turtles, birds, and dolphins, and everything else, just by doing the little things every day. Now, you see these animals on TV. You see pictures of bald eagles. Yes. But when you see them in person, and especially as close as thunder is to us today, oh, yeah. It's unbelievable. Oh, they're amazing. Amazingly powerful. Up to a thousand pounds per square inch in their grip. Um, they've got these amazing talons, huge talons and knobby feet. So that when they grab a fish, the water wicks away just like the tread on your shoes to keep you keep it stick. But they're amazing birds. They're an amazing story. And that's one of the reasons why he's one of our most popular animal ambassadors. Because they were on the brink of extinction. Right. We, through our con uh, concerted efforts with the government and the public citizens, we worked to eliminate DDT, help bring back their numbers, and they're now located in all of the lower 48 states. Okay, so. uh, amazing, yes. amazing. Okay, yes. next up. Uh, the uh, next animal we have is um, our marmoset. Now, was this what was making the noise a little this while ago? This is a little chirpy noise, Look yes. at that. Look at her, she's great, she's so cute. Oh, she is cute. M marmosets are monkeys, they're New World monkeys located down in South America, Brazil, right. up in the treetops and everything else. They have really cool teeth right on the lower part that are used to dig away at the, the bark of the tree so okay. that they can eat the sap. A large part of the diet is just sap alone and the gum from a tree. Now, I was reading one of the interesting facts that you, you know, that we have about the uh, about these that mm -hmm. you know they're not endangered but the area that they live in is. absolutely absolutely the rainforests of South America are being depleted one of the things that people can do to make sure that they help save those rainforests is look at whenever you buy bananas or you buy coffee mm -hmm. make sure you're buying something that's from sustainable source okay so that that's the best thing to do and she's also here because we have a new exhibit at Discovery Cove a new area at Discovery Cove which is our inclusive park we get to interact with all the animals dolphins and birds and everything the kids and must love that they love it they love it and and we have this new area called Freshwater Oasis. And it's this nice kind of lazy river mm -hmm. setting where you can wade in the water and you're in the water with otters, Asian small really? otters, and marmosets. So you can go and just kind of chill and hang out in the water, relaxing, watching these guys. It's a great experience. That's incredible. Now, what, what do these guys eat? These guys eat tree sap, they okay. eat berries, sometimes insects, that sort of thing. Okay, so next, yeah, up. next, next up, up, we have, this one's our, our, our vocal, he, he'll make everybody laugh, and he's one of our most popular <laughs> animal ambassadors. He's 14 years Whoa. old, his name is Merlin. Hey Merlin. Yep, again, one of our animal ambassadors. He's a type of bird called a laughing kookaburra. Okay. Yes, a laughing kookaburra, get there, they're known for their laugh. Right, right. And uh, they're the largest member of the Kingfisher family, native to Australia. Um, and uh, let's see if we can get him to laugh. Okay. Let's see. He, let's see. It's a mimic. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Okay, good job, buddy. You are going to get some extra whatever it is you eat because you did it on cue, for, especially oh, yes. in front of uh, TV and, yes. a, and the audience that we have here today. And he's, he's one of the animal ambassadors you can meet at, at Discovery Cove. We have a tons of them. You go to SeaWorld. It's not just the marine mammals. It's a lot of animals you can see every day going right. through all the parks. We have Aquatica, Discovery Cove, SeaWorld, Bush Gardens Parks. It's great. And so many people from Rhode Island do travel to Orlando. Oh, yes. They do travel to yep. SeaWorld. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the, the incredible things oh, that you can see while you're there. incredible things you can see. Oh, uh, definitely, definitely. And if they ever want to plan their vacation, the best place to go is SeaWorldGetaways.com. It'll tell you all about the animals, tell you all about um, the, the, the different locations you can go visit. Give you like a preview of, of what exactly, yeah, exactly. you're going to be able to get. And, and tell get us all the best deals. a little bit more about what's going on up in Boston. Up in Boston. We're going to be at the Boston Globe Travel Show. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, I think there's like eight, ten different animals of our animal ambassadors that have come from several of our parks to arrive. And we're going to be there throughout the day. People can come up and meet them, interact with them, get pictures with them. It's great. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for bringing all of these incredible oh, animals. We love it. Come back. Please come back. <laughs> okay, for more information about about SeaWorld and the Boston Globe Travel Show this weekend at the Seaport World Trade Center in Boston. Just head to our website, WPRI.com.